Hi, it's Martin Atkins here at the Media Institute again. We're going to call this section, this piece of the jigsaw puzzle, classroom observation. Uh, I'm going to give you a few tips that are common knowledge, a few of my own personal tips for in classroom, and then we invite you to share some of your tips too for the next video. I think it's great that teachers interact and uh, share best practices. Um, We've all had those lecturing moments where we're feeling like the attention level from the students isn't that great. A couple of students are nodding off. I've got a great little tip that I found like 10 minutes into the class can really get the students' attention. Yeah, it's an air horn. It's unorthodox, I know. But I've got two of these babes. I've got a, a, a little one and a huge one that works off a compressed tank and it's available at all times to quickly get that little extra bit of attention from a student. Another great tip. Uh, what's this one? Give, yeah, give the students a sandwich. Uh, halfway through a lecture, it's a great idea, I think, to pass out a ham this is a ham and cheese sandwich. It doesn't have to be ham and cheese. It could be tur turkey, uh, tuna salad, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Uh, any kind of sandwich you want. And just, what? It's not a, it's not a sandwich. Okay, it's not, don't have, okay, hold on a second. It's not a sandwich. Well, what is it? I've got a note here, hand out sandwiches. Oh, oh okay. It's, you make a sandwich with the bad piece of difficult information, which in this case would be the cheese or this dubious lunch meat. Okay, you surround the bad information with two pieces of good information. Okay, yeah, so that's the, yeah. Uh, if you have something potentially difficult to say to a student, like, there were several problems with the homework you handed in, such as you didn't hand it in, or have you ever used spell check? Um, sandwich that difficult piece of information with a couple of pieces of good information, like, hey, great project, it's really fantastic. You might want to spell check it, but keep up the good work. You know, yeah, but I just paid two, it's cost me two dollars for this sandwich. This is good practice anywhere. It's also good practice on the internet, right? It, 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 I think it originated as a face-to-face -face, uh, suggestion, but it's great practice on the internet as well. Uh, praise in public, reprimand in private. You know, there's lots of people on the internet love reprimanding me in public for my bad spelling and complete lack of punctuation, and it's not great. Um, so uh, that's a good one to throw in here too. Praise in public, reprimand in private. Another common problem in the classroom is cell phones. Um, it's not just confined to the classroom. Recently, the New York Philharmonic was interrupted by some person in the front row with a cell phone. The One sec. Yeah. No, I'm doing a, a video about being interrupted by a cell phone, ironically enough. Yeah, I don't know if the, I don't know if it is irony or not. Yeah, but I'm yeah. Yes, you can have that ham sandwich. Yeah, no problem. Bye bye. Um, one thing, sorry about that. One thing that I found. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Yeah, sorry. One thing that I found to be very useful. It's a little one of my subtle techniques. We already did the air horn. Is you grab the student's cell phone and you smash it with a hammer. Um, word of warning, cell phones can get fairly expensive these days, so I wouldn't try that at home. So that's just another little tip from me to you. These tips aren't for everybody. Uh, what do we have so far? We've got the cell phone with a hammer, the sandwich, praise in public, the air horn. <laughs> Martin Atkins at Media Institute with uh, more of our tips for working effectively with students. Another piece of that jigsaw puzzle.